Well, the largest dragon boat festival in the world wasn't good enough for my next guest and his team. They decided to do another dragon boat festival, this time in the winter. It is the Beaver Tales Ottawa Ice Dragon Boat Festival. It's coming up next weekend and some free concerts as part of all of this as well. I'm joined by John Bruman, uh, the CEO of the Beaver Tales Ottawa Ice Dragon Boat Festival. Welcome. How are you, John? I'm good. How about yourself? I'm doing great. What have you Excellent. brought along with you here? We're going to talk about this. I was going to say the elephant in the room, but the dragon in the room. I've been dragging this dragon around for 20 years. <laughs> You know. you? Yeah, <laughs> that's our that's our ceremonial eye dotting dragon that we use for the uh, for the ceremonies, uh, opening ceremonies every time between before each festival. So you can see how like this is, it's got paint, and then we paint it black over, and then we paint it again, and it's, yeah, it's very cool. It's been around. Very cool. Yeah, might, I love might, it. I needed some touch up actually. Imagine the stories that this guy could tell. Let if. me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Am I right or what? If you only um, drank. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, let's talk about uh, the idea behind this. You know, the this, the summer festival so incredibly successful as I said the largest in the world which I think a lot of people might be surprised to hear in little old Ottawa here we are with the yep. largest in the world but yep. it is where did this idea to do one in the winter come from well it came about in the uh, winter of 2016 I got a call to go to Budapest um, actually 24 hours after I got the call which was odd but <laughs> wow. um, yeah it was crazy so anyway they sent me an airline ticket and off I went and uh, I was introduced to ice dragon boat at a demonstration sport in uh, in Budapest we went and had dinner that night they pitched the idea and said let's you know you need to bring that to Ottawa I'm like okay <laughs> I'll see what so I, I can got do back on the plane <laughs> talked to NCC and Canadian Heritage and uh, our friends at Winterlude and um, they at first were a little concerned about a little skeptical putting spikes perhaps. on the ice <laughs> right, and all that yeah. business and uh, but anyway we got through that in 2017 we launched um, launched the first uh, first festival and it was um, it was funny because we, you know we thought how many teams we're we gonna get oh let's try 30 okay well that sold out in about four minutes really so I'm like how about 50 <laughs> boom and then we you know, so <laughs> I think we ended up in that first year around 80. And now we're doing, uh, now we do 100. Okay. And it, I'm not kidding you, it sells out in eight minutes. It's like, done. Uh, well, I, I mean, because of the, the you know, the history of, of the festival and your team putting to, it yeah. together, I'm not surprised whatsoever. And of course, always going to great causes too, right, Sean? Oh, absolutely. So our foundation, which is separately run within our organization, um, the Ottawa Dragon Boat Foundation. Um, so it's, you know, we've raised funds for uh, for, for the last 25 uh, years, um, raised over $5 million in that time. And that's above and beyond all the festival expenses and all the rest of it is completely separate and um, and yes yeah, so we've raised funds for 75 different charities amazing uh, we're just seeing some of the the footage of uh, previous ice dragon boat festival uh, you mentioned spike so um, I'm, I'm just seeing here so I guess it's like it, it's a paddle with what a spike at the end of it and that's what drives uh, the team along the if you ice. can imagine a really fat broom handle okay. with a horse hoof on the bottom that kind of rotates as you hit the ice this thing bends like a horse hoof might and and as it hits the ice there's seven spikes that come out on a spring activation kind of deal okay and that's how you propel yeah right so the purists to be honest with you don't like it because it's pretty hard in your shoulders Oh really? Yeah. Eh? So the super super uber like the Canadian team won't be here because that's their you know they're in training for the World Championships and so on and regular dragon boating. Right. It's a bit. But you know this is just a fun. It's a fun sport. It's quirky. Yeah, um, great to celebrate winter, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, hey, don't hibernate. Get out and, uh, and yeah. enjoy the winter. I, I mentioned the free concert series as, mm -hmm. as part of this at the at the Rainbow. The, yeah. This is exciting. How did that come about? Yeah. Well, it actually, it all came about uh, last year because I don't know if you recall when the when the a group of, uh, of of CEOs in the company got together in the in the city got together to try to help save the rainbow. That's right. Yeah. So that's where it triggered originally. Um, a friend of mine, John Zuskremski, is part of that group. We started chatting and we go, oh, "Can we rent the rainbow?" You know, because we've got uh, we've got some grants and so on to make things happen with right. that way. So so we actually had done it for 2020, but then it was canceled because the COVID shutdown. Of course. So we're just right. like, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so. <laughs> So here we are a year later, and the idea is to have a show every night of Winterlude. 
okay. that is uh, put on by the Beaver Tales Ottawa East Dragon Boat Festival. And it's working, it's happening, and we're super excited about it. And yeah, they're going through, I, you can't see it here, but uh, on, on my monitor here, they're just going through. Are, are they all local bands? Was that an important I, I component believe, of I this? I believe yeah. most are. There may actually be another couple of announcements coming up with some special ones, uh, special new ones uh, coming in. Um, but yes, it's uh, that's the idea, is, is, is mostly uh, sort of local entertainment. Yeah. Um, the, the Dragon Boat portion, Ice Dragon Boat portion happening at, at Dow's Lake, for people that you know aren't participating, but you know, are going down to to enjoy it. Well, what's the experience like for them? Well, I mean, get on the canal, get on your skates, and uh, or you can you know you, you can get on your boots as well and jump yeah, out there. Yeah. But uh, I would I would wear cleats because it gets pretty slippy. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, you know, there's a fenced off area, that, and and you can you can watch it at any point along the uh, the race course. And uh, the races are running at about every every f you know five to six minutes, so it's a nice. kind of a fairly consistent experience. And what I to be honest with you. I I find the finals are really interesting because it took them a while to get these boats going, right? Oh, oh really? 2017, yeah. it's like, what is this thing and how does it work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, Fast forward imagine. to our last one, which was 2020, right before the pandemic. And it was um, it was unbelievable how fast they were going. Really? To the point where we didn't have enough slowdown time at the end. And we had guys getting in there with skates like hire guns with skates good skaters that were like <laughs> trying to would try help to slow slow down oh, yeah, the they boat. had to grab wow. the boat on the other side and try to slow <laughs> oh it down goodness. cuz these things are starting to really fly right cuz you think of ice once it reaches a, a certain resistance or lack of resistance point it just goes Right, and um, so it's taken a while to get there, but the finals are the finals are definitely exciting. So you're full up, but I, I imagine you're still accepting donations. Uh, how, how do people yeah, donate? Yeah, you can you can drag uh, you can drag a boat. You can donate it <laughs> at odbf.ca.ca uh, odbf.ca. That's our foundation okay. website, um, and there's going to be donation uh, taps and so on inside the rainbow and inside HMCS Carlton, where we're actually hosting the uh, drag boat component. Oh, cool. Um, okay. Which is which is going to be great, actually. Yeah. The, um, you know, Chris Knowlton over at um, HMCS Carlton has uh, helped us out in a huge way by uh, allowing us to host in there. So that's that's kind of new and yeah, that's excited fantastic. about that. Well, and you've got the concert series that runs from February 3rd all the way to the 20th. Uh, yeah. As you said, free concerts at the Rainbow and, of course, Dow's Lake February 3rd and 4th for, for the Dragon Boat Races. John, really yeah. appreciate the time today. Thanks, Thanks so much. much. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more right after this.